I want to bring in Larry Levine now. He has spent uh, 10 years in multiple federal prisons at several different security levels. He is now the director of Wall Street Prison Consultants and Coaching, which trains people how to survive behind bars. People like Brian Koberger, who maybe have no idea what's in store. I, I, Larry, this is really interesting. We found out there are only 17 inmates total in that 2,000 square foot lockup. And the other 16 are in for things like aggravated assault, drug possession, lewd conduct with a minor, domestic battery, probation violation, and some other crimes. So set the stage for me. What would you have told Brian Koberger, were he your client, before he went in uh, 69 days ago? Kind of exactly what he's doing. I tell him to keep his mouth shut because anything he says or does, you know, it's kind of like the Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you. He's not stupid. He knows they've already built a case up on him. And what benefit would it be, let's say, for him to talk to a shrink to give the prosecution ammunition? I would just tell him to play it out. And that's kind of what he's doing. He knows he doesn't have a prayer. He knows they have mountains and mountains of evidence against him. So what benefit would it be for him to talk to anyone? Nothing. He knows he's going to be convicted. So he's just taking it easy. He's like skating through the system. There's nothing that could really be done for him. So I just tell him, be cool. You know, but I couldn't Harry, give you. If you're stuck, though, in seg, right, if you're in segregation, I mean, I, I would imagine that's part of the, the awfulness of the punishment is just being, you know, kept from human contact, just from the normalcy of, of life itself. Wouldn't you avail yourself of anything at all, whether it's a dentist or a mental health checkup or a, a, meet, a meeting with the warden or just anything to have a conversation with someone? Okay, well, we don't know how often his lawyer visits him. So there's human conduct or contact. We don't know how often he visits the dentist or the doctor. There's additional human contact. For all we know, he could have a religious figure come and talk to him on a regular basis. He doesn't have to go to religious services. There's additional contact. An officer has to take him to the showers or out to the rec yard, you know, how many times a week he's going to be doing that. So he has human contact. He's not in total isolation. They're letting this guy have a TV set. You know, the reason why he can choose the channel is it's a different TV because he is in segregation. So now he has in his mind outside communication watching whatever TV shows there are. So is he really in isolation? I don't see it like that. And he has to go to, or he not, he doesn't have to, he's going to these Bible study or religious sessions with people. Yeah, he can't talk to people. I've seen that before. I've also seen people bring notes out and hide them in Bibles and such. And people exchange messages that aren't even supposed to talk to each other. So we really don't know what's happening inside that jail or what's going through his head. Yeah, we do know that other inmates have been taunting him, which I suppose is not unusual, but um, no, not I'm gonna have all. you back for, uh, you know, can you give me just 30 seconds on what advantage it would be uh, to taunt a guy who's in SAG? You can't get to him anyway. Uh, and I am running out of time, but I do wanna hear your answer there. Well, the other inmates, they know he killed a bunch of people. These are just petty criminals that are in there and they know that they're gonna get under his skin. And I see this happen in prisons a lot of time. They're probably telling him that he's going to get the electric chair. They're going to hang him. They're going to fry him. They're just doing it to get his goat. There's no real advantage to it. They're just doing it themselves to pass the time. I did it, too, when I was in custody. I would say things to people I knew that may not happen just to pass the time, I guess, for my own sick personal amusement. Well, there are those 17 other... Um inmates so they were just flashing on the screen those are his uh, roommates so to speak larry levine always good to have you on all right thank you so much for being here tonight appreciate it thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find news nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage